Okay, so let's get started since it's 12.30 now. I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit raw, um, unfortunately. <laughs> My allergies have been acting up, which means I've been coughing really badly, and if I've seen anyone, if I had seen anybody in the last months, uh, then I'd be concerned that I have COVID, but I have not seen anyone, so... Honestly, streaming is the only thing keeping me ha halfway sane at this point. <laughs> I exaggerate, of course, but seriously though, like, I miss being around my friends and stuff, as we all do. <sighs> we just got done with Pharaohs, so we have to have talks. Unfortunate. We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said when we talked. Something to add, Lieutenant, or are you just breaking in your thesaurus? I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. I'm just looking for an ear. The debriefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Yeah. Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. Yeah. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt a girl, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. Yeah. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Um, good? He deserved it. It killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened. He's probably got something over you in the regrets department. I'm not upset he's dead. Just sorry I killed him. Yeah, you were what, 17? They let me go. I guess they wanted it to blow over as much as I did. I came back on my terms because I wanted to serve. So, yeah, I hated that Turian. But, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. And here I was concerned you were damaged goods. I've got a few scratches and dents. I hope they just give me character. I don't think we'll be operating without support for much longer. Pretty soon, not even the council will be able to ignore what's going on. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. That's not depressing. Commander, 
Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Not really, but should I? I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. You do not have to put on a brave face for me, Commander. This crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I've got broad shoulders. I have no doubt about that. But can they carry the weight of an entire galaxy? If we don't stop Saren... No. Never mind. That was a funny line. <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Uh, no. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Just checking boxes at this point. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. You have nothing for me, unfortunately. Ah, yes. So, uh, you can officially pre-order le the Legendary Edition of Mass Effect now. And... If I had thoughts, they'd be coming to me at this point. But, for some reason, they're not. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Commander, I... what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. You might not, because you I keep wish dying. I, confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, Anything. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Sure. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Sarah? A little bit. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. That's not even a lifetime. Family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not my files or something? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I 
I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. Uh, yeah, that's what you do in that situation. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of it. Is this why you're always going on about the Council? If everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, then so can I. I'm entitled. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're tough and decisive. I value those qualities. Just consider me a fire and forget missile. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Right. Okay. Ma'am. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Elaborate. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Good reason. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who. As long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. So it would have been extinction. Forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the hollows, in the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Okay. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. 
That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? I've got some unfinished business with my family. But that's all. What kind of business? Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus. A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander... I want to be there when you find him. Of course. So long, Rex. Shepard. Why wouldn't he want to be there? This is really just checking boxes. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterins are top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. That must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. Yeah, Mass Effect 1 definitely needed the remaster. I'm not sure if Mass Effect 2 or 3 needed it, but Mass Effect 1 definitely. The work you're doing here is more important than anything an Aquarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And hey. all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later.
Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. Yeah, good plan. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I'm the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. All right, see ya. Now let's actually get some side quests done. It's been like 30 minutes of just talking to people. We're just going to go through system by system at this point. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. We need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Great. Start from the outside in. Beautiful, it's hazard level one. Oh, it's so pretty.
redeploying. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? Oh, this will be fun. Whoops. I'm probably not going to get this. Yep. Oh gosh. Yep. Gonna run out of time again. Gosh. Ugh. I'm terrible at this. Master is supposed to make the controls for the Mako better, and I honestly don't know what that entails. Um, because controls seem fairly standard right now. Heading out. is the problem. It's the fact that it's all bouncy. You hit one bump and you go flying. Wonderful.
Yeah, it's just all bouncy. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot. Gotta make sure we, you know, level up things. This isn't at all suspicious. I know there was another door over there, but... He dropped the data module. It is a miracle the data module is still intact. Your pilot should be able to relay this info to your superiors. Yep, 
thought so. I hate it. I hate it. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. It's like, yes, all those crates were definitely just to act as cover. Side quests only this time, so unfortunately we're not getting any story done, but it's fine. No. No, you did not do that to me. Okay, well fine, we'll just check out this, this anomaly then. are probably taking the worst possible way to this. Oh, back down and now we're on the wrong way because we flipped around. Just get me out of here. Where it's not actually the Mako controls that make this difficult, it's... It's the terrain!
boat? Nope, not that far. Thank goodness there's no fall damage. Because otherwise we we would we would be very dead. What is that? That somehow worked out. for the artifact. electronics. Well, it does, but it's only at a one, which is utterly pointless to try to level up at this moment. He can do a dampening. If you don't do that, then th then really, what it what is the point? If anyone out there is actually able to drive the Mako, they deserve, like, an award or something. Because this is... This is... An adventure... All on its own.
There we go. That was it? Fine. Whatever. Yes, we're returning to Normandy. We did everything there. <sighs> Next planet. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Oh god, my eye is Normandy, just bothering me. Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Wow. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience. We're transmitting all the locations of known get- We're just gonna go one by one by one through all of them. Oof. That is a pain. Nothing. Oh god, we can land here. No hazards, apparently. Yay. Oh, gosh. There we go.
Nah, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Wow, that was really durable. Hey, we found a road! I should have guessed that there would be a road anyway, but I did not. Instead, we're just running around like... <sighs> Chaos is our middle name. Which, hey, it, it's a vibe, but mm, kind of frustrating too, so... I hate it, but like, I don't know. Failure. Yes, apparently so. to fail at killing. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die this time, aren't I? Yes, I am. 
Oh, that was... That was not good. Mm. Keep the people alive next time, maybe? That might be a plan. Weird, so apparently they weren't supposed to be there. Take cover. Well, I guess... Liara and Garrus are amazing while I'm just flailing around here being useless. Something's in the way. I want to see if I can lure them, because I do not fancy taking that on, head on. Targets down. Okay, great. My eye is bothering me, of course.
I am unbelievably suspicious, aren't I? Kill them all. really just stuck like this, aren't I? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. There we go. And out of here. See, what was the, what was the reason for that? There wasn't one. Maybe, maybe the Mako controls being changed will be a good thing. Because right now, it's just ridiculous. Gosh, yep. Hey, that was... wicked. Get into the vehicle. Yes. I think maybe this might be the time to experiment with, like, different party combinations. I mean, I, I, I've only ever used, like, Liara and Garrus, aside from when you had to use, uh, Kaden and Ashley. We're just going everywhere. There was supposed to be a mission on the moon, if that makes any sense. Was it, or was that like just my brain? Because that, that would not be surprising. This is probably so dull just watching me go in and out, in and out of each like planet. And I'm not even, like, reading them, I'm just... Can I land on them, or is there a survey uh, option? This one you have to land on! Cool! You can see me, like, really mess up. And Kaden, yeah, Rex and Kaden's an acceptable squad, and I can level them both up. Even though they both have really terrible weapons and armor right now.
I can still level up their, like, skills. Oh, gosh. 30. 30. Let's go to the anomaly first if I will stop opening the journal. Okay. So This is a lot that I'm just forgetting about. Oh! Not squad equipment. Rex can probably equip better armor. Nope. That's fine.
here now? Because I do not want to try to 1v1 a Thresher Maw. Like, just full disclosure there. Don't want to try that. Yeah, it's not a little terrain. That's a lot. More exciting news um, than, you know, me just driving the Mako. I bought new parts for my computer. Uh, if you don't know, a lot of the parts of my computer are very outdated. Um, the graphics card is the NVIDIA 760 right now, which is old. Um, but most of the parts are around the same age, so, or older, so. I need to, you know, upgrade things. And I'm actually slowly getting items that I need to upgrade. I think recently I bought a new processor for it. This processor's old, too. Oh, no. And then get outpost. But I can't see it because I'm jammed, apparently. Yep, this is the worst plan I've ever came up with in my life. myself out of here. Do some repairs. 
Wait for the shields to go back up. It'll be fine. we are. Don't be obvious. Yeah, I think we just need to sit and wait. Caden survived that, but Rex didn't? That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Repairing its fatigue. It's supposed to be fatigue. Heads up. Losses down, which is a big part. We're taking damage. Oops. I'm sure I have some equipment that I could reduce to Omni Gel. This is the most dull thing I've ever done in my life. And I've done some dull things in my life.
we are not. Whoop. Under fire. Oh my gosh, the shields on the Mako take so long. That's why I keep putting myself in danger. Getting out. Maybe if I approach from behind. Yep. 
I know. means I have to go into my inventory again. It did something. God. Rex. What is Rex
I cannot zoom in now. Well, we leveled up, so I will not lie. It's it's very very taxing to just be sitting here and essentially just I don't know. We're literally just going planet to planet. You have master barrier, but you're still dying every time. Rex, what? You're a Krogan! Be better! Oh, I think next time I might take maybe Tally and Ashley, because I'm trying to just shuffle out and try different combinations of party members as we're going planet to planet doing random side quests. It's fine. A while but it's it's really absolutely fine I should probably be shutting this down uh, so we'll get to the next system and uh, should we get... yeah no you know what we're, we're staying right where we are and we're done because otherwise I'm gonna keep playing this for hours on end, and I can't really do that, because I'm getting a headache. So, that is all for today, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, I'm losing all thoughts in my head. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you guys had a nice time, I certainly did, um, this will be up, archived to my YouTube on Monday, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.